I'm Warren. This is Charlie. He, he can hear. I can see. We work together. <laughs> now, Warren Buffett is the master of the kindly grandfather demeanor. And you can just see right away it's disarming. The first word he says is hi and it's just so disarming just his demeanor even before he opens his mouth the second thing we see is self-deprecation he's one of the richest men in the world and he opens right up with a self-deprecating joke he gets these heartwarming laughs and it's just really powerful it makes people love him right away we knew we were sort of made for each other and we've never had an argument in this whole time we are strong-minded we see another thing with Warren Buffett is he speaks positively about just about everybody. You'll very rarely hear him criticize anybody. One, this makes him likable because he likes other people. He doesn't talk bad about them. But two, just having all these positive words coming out of his mouth, they're coming out of his mouth. So they will be associated with him. And this is the number one reason why Warren Buffett is loved. He has the right messaging. The only time Warren Buffett is critical is when he criticizes everyone and everything that he says is responsible for him paying low taxes and being rich. He criticizes the government, politicians, the tax rate. He has the right messaging. And this is something that's very important to be aware of in terms of human psychology. Warren Buffett does not to send half of his income to the government, which he could do. He could impose a higher tax rate on himself. There are billionaires who do things like this, where they spend the vast majority of their money on things that they care about. They, they do give it all away while they're alive, not, not just saying they're going to give it away when they pass away. And some of them are hated. But it's all about messaging. And why is messaging crucial? Why is what he says so much more important than actions or who he is, what his life is? The reason is that human belief systems did not develop or evolve to be accurate. They developed for group cohesion. When a group had the same beliefs, they're signaling, I'm part of the group. It makes a tighter knit group and help them to survive. So Warren Buffett is simply signaling the right beliefs. It has nothing to do with logic, right? What he's saying is not logical based on his life. Clearly, he values money. It's He works nonstop to make as much money as he can. But he has the right messaging. He's saying the message is, hey, I'm part of your tribe. There could be you know, news stations or reporters who think billionaires shouldn't exist and they'll quote him, they'll love him because he is signaling with the right messaging, I am part of this belief system, this tribe. Two second intermission. I just want to make it clear, this is not to be critical of people, like ah, people, you know, all pessimistic. In a way, this is positive. If someone disagrees with us, it does not mean they're a bad person. It's simply a social function. So let's take the positive side of this understanding. So. I'm not saying we should do one thing and say another thing. What I am saying is keep in mind messaging because we want to be ethical, but we don't want to be ethical and have the wrong messaging and then have people dislike us. So keep in mind how we're communicating, what we're saying, and what people want to hear. Not lying, but tailoring what we say. And that is it. That's why Warren Buffett is so beloved.